Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Arvind here and today we have another tutorial to take over and it's all about how to take a 40 megapixel still photograph using the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. So basically this camera, the Mark II version is more popular in the market it's just because of the 40 megapixel stuff and the 5 axis image stabilization. So first of all, let me tell you what that 40 megapixel stuff does. So it is basically called as high res mode in the camera. So you can find it in the menu systems and you can use it all. So I'm just going to show you how to take it and how to use it effectively to produce a 40 megapixel single JPEG or even raw files if you have upgraded your camera to the firmware, second firmware, so you can use the uh, camera to take a 40 megapixel raw files. So First of all, what is that high res mode does? So basically the camera has a 5 axis image stabilization and that 5 axis image stabilization just just shakes you just like changing your sensor in every perspective. So basically that's what this camera does. Once the high res mode is, has been activated and you press the shutter button, the sensor moves in 8 different parts eight different directions and take a picture and then it just merge every picture and reads the details of all those pictures and give you a single raw file or a JPEG. So that's what that 40 megapixel still does. But remember, while you're doing a 40 megapixel high res mode shot, make sure that you are in a tripod and make sure you are shooting a non-moving subject because once the sensor has been moving to eight different perspectives, the camera is not meant to take everything into perspective. So the subject has to be in, in a place, not in a moving aspect. So that's, so that's easy when you are doing like a life, uh, like a um, still life photography or a fine art using some foot photography, that's really great. So now I have a miniature uh, figure to photograph so this is a small little bike in a miniature version so okay let's jump into it directly first of all let's open the it's on the camera okay so I, I already had placed my uh, uh, composition and I'm in the manual mode so and and uh, about the high res mode you have to activate it so press the OK button go to the uh, uh, what, go to the uh, what, what do I call that uh, what, do, what do we call that I just forgot okay so just go to the single shot so sh choose your shots so it's in single and anti shock in this option you will find it at the last as a high res mode select it and then so it is ready to take the pictures but before that remember the high res mode is uh, is just kept to a minimum minimalistic things is so like you can go up to f8 not more than that as well as uh, you can shoot and if you're taking the picture in a tripod make sure you keep your ISO at very low possible so I keep my ISO at ISO 200 and going for like aperture f8 as you can see even after f8 if I move the aperture it won't move so the camera is limited to take at f8 so f8 and I'm going for the correct exposure like 1.3 seconds so focus it up and uh, let's take the first shot as you can see it takes pretty much time so the first shot has been taken and it starts to take and it starts to record every details in eight different perspectives and it will merge the image as you see now it's showing busy and the process is going on. So once the process has been completed, it will deliver the 40 megapixel still photograph. So we are about, okay, so this is the 40 megapixel still photograph, as you can see. So when I zoomed in, you can find plenty of details. Okay, so from the, from, from the, both the handlebars, to the tank, uh, the name, all of those things are so it has a touch screen so I can just use it so as you see even the tires everything is in full detail version so this is what the 40 megapixel still does so I I already had taken some couple of 
JPEG shots, as you can see, these are the JPEGs. When I just zoomed in, it, it has a lot of difference in it. So as you can see, the depth of field is different. Even, even the colors are different. It's just because of those um, sensor shift. It just takes everything into details. It just records every details in the picture and it just uh, gives an output. So pretty much that's it. But beyond that, rather than just taking a picture with just activating your high res mode, you have to see how much detail is in the photograph. To see the details, let's jump into the Lightroom and see what we can do with this thing. Okay, so right now we are in Photoshop and I'm just going to get those photos into the Photoshop RAW file and uh, we're going to see how those photos looks like. So let's open this thing and uh, in this folder I have set of pictures. These first two pictures are the uh, normal raw files as you can see the file size is like 14 MB and 13 MB and this is the JPEG file of the uh, 40 megapixel stuff and you can see the size is almost 17.3 megabyte mega MB so megapixels so I'm sorry that's MB it's megabytes what I'm doing man <laughs> so okay so this is the raw file that I'm going to pull it so this is a 40 megapixel raw file and you can see it's about 99.5 MB oh my gosh it's pretty much huge so let's drag this thing into Photoshop and once I drop it here it's going to open to the camera raw file so the camera raw 9.1 and uh, so when I zoom in you can see pretty much the details wow it's gorgeous right you can see the handlebars are pretty much sharp enough oops sorry just did it uh, where is that uh, okay so and you can see pretty much everywhere is the sharpest thing inside here yeah even I zoom in you can see the name is pretty much sharp and everything so okay this is what I'm just doing and uh, as 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 you see here this all those sliders are basic in Lightroom and Photoshop so I'm just going to edit for my preference like decree just like recovering some highlights getting some contrast in here a little bit of shadows to those uh, to those black spaces in the wheels and everything and I'm just going to get that white spots a little bit top notch okay and then the blacks Oh, that's good. So a little bit vibrance, uh, okay, and then just a little bit of clarity, like just like 10, 11, okay, that's good. Uh, saturation, I never touch saturations a lot, so I just let it do the things happen. So sharpening in the sense, I go like 40 and uh, keep it in masking, just for it just for the little bit of sharpness so I'm at ISO 200 so I'm not going to reduce any noise reductions here just let it be like that and uh, split tonings is just if you need it I won't do it so lens profile corrections and chromatic aberrations if there is any chromatic aberration I have to take out as I see here what's this oh, that's that's the design so it's not the way okay so everything is pretty much here so it's just it's it's just really the simple editing stuff so I'm just gonna crop a little bit at that 16 inch to 9 ratios anyway like just like that so okay now I'm just gonna open the image here and uh, and pretty much yes now just I'm good I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and just going to show how that image has sharpness you can see here pretty much oh my gosh 40 megapixels is really one of those biggest improvements in the Olympus cameras kudos to those Olympus cameras I have to give a big shout out to those guys it was just really fantastic here and you can see pretty much everywhere everywhere the sharpness is great so and once again, this is the 40 megapixel stuff, and uh, 
if you are interested in doing a lot of product shots or food photography or fine art even some still life like just a tabletop photography the 40 megapixel is one of the most 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 useful thing in my opinion but if you are shooting any nature or you know some sky sunset sunrises the 40 megapixel is not gonna be in your touch but for products like this or still life I really recommend doing it and to be honest this is really great you know if, you know a 16 megapixel camera which shoots 40 megapixels it just looks like magic you know <laughs> oh, really so that's it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video click the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching